how's it going guys i'm Ryuz and welcome to my channel i hope you are doing well welcome back to another omnia g guide video this time we're continuing the story on chapter 6 this is by far the most difficult one yet out of five stages there are four battles uh, the battle on stage 4 is the hardest and i would recommend you have a solid luck deck to make things faster but i also have a cheaper alternative that i will show later without further ado let's jump in straight away for the first stage i have this really simple luck divination deck that you can use i tried keeping this as cheap as possible so you can use it no problem In this battle, the opponent has a buff skills that lets them summon Kingyo at the end of their turn if their Shikigami in the combat zone has less than 4 health, while our buff are when our luck check is successful, recover 2 health for all of our units. That's why I'm bringing Zashiki, since we have a higher percentage to land it right with her. The other buff is gain a bird when we roll a 6. This buff is basically if a Shikigami we control is about to die, recover all of its life, then move it back to the standby zone if it was there. But if it's not, it will just recover normally. We get the first turn. If you have any repeatable cards like Blazing Pupil, always use it early to make it bigger. Now here's the thing, if they have King Yu on their field, you don't want to touch it. Just ignore it until they use one of their Shikigami to attack. I know it sounds really risky, but we have Zashiki to help us with life management. On their turn, they attack with Otengu again, then activate Golden Feather and pass, summoning another King Yu at the end of their turn. In this battle, you have to be careful of Otengu once he reached level 3 because of his AoE spell that deals 3 damage. We are just going to pass and bait them until they attack with their Shigami. With this deck, you can take it easy and not think too much because we have powerful cards and just need to time it well so that we can finish them off easy. あの世界は静かで美しいですね。川よ。守護の力を与えたまえ。僕は川に住んでいる。水の子です。ああ。人間の強欲さは永遠に変わらない黄金の羽。僕のことを知りたいって？じゃあ僕と友達になってよ。よ
キはなかなか求めがたい甘い復讐僕に堪能させてよはっ On the second stage, we are still using the same deck because our buff is still the same as the previous battle. But this time, you have to play a bit smart. They get the first turn this time. They will attack using Yuki, then activate Yuki on a snowballs to kill our Hanya. Good thing is we don't have his cards yet, but we are at a pretty bad disadvantage because the opponent buffs is that at the start of their turn they get to stun our Shigami that has the highest health. So because our Hanya died and Dodomeki will for sure get stunned on their next turn, we're just going to activate Blazing Pupil, then attack Yuki to kill him and pass. Dodomeki will get stunned and they will kill her using Yuki Onna and pass. Because we have more Kappa cards, we want to let Zashiki to get stunned so that we can use his cards on our turn. On their turn, they're just going to attack with Ibaraki and pass. <laughs> On our turn, we're going to evolve him, then activate River Song to deal one damage to all of their Shigami. This was a mistake because I didn't check the top deck before activating this. Of course, Kappa will get stunned because he has the highest health. They put a form on Yuki, then goes for a direct attack, dealing 7 damage. <laughs> on our turn, we're going to put a form on Zashiki, then evolve Hanya and pass. Now it's a gamble. Ideally, I want Zashiki to get stunned because we don't need her cards for now. But since RNG is a bitch, uh, they stun Kappa again. They activate Yamawaro's combat card, then attack directly with Yuki once more. On our turn, our luck check is successful, so we gain a total of 5 health this time. We then activate Blazing Pupil on Yuki. After that, activate Dodomeki's card to draw 2 cards and pass. Okay, finally Zashiki gets stunned, and they are doing the same move as the last turn and pass. On our turn, we get lucky and drew another Blazing Pupil. We activate Oni Strike to kill Yuki, then use Blazing Pupil on Ibaraki. Because we don't want him to get any bigger, and because Hanya has haste, we also go for direct attack and pass. <laughs> On their turn, they evolve Yamawaro, then suicide run to kill Hanya and pass. With this deck, you can easily gain advantage just by activating cards like Blazing Pupil and Heart of Envy. Keeping Zashiki form is also easy, and it lets you recover life at a quite consistent pace. Even if you are at a disadvantage, you can turn it around on later turns. Oh, 
この私が茨城通りだ僕に刃が決める我が子一番がいいまた遊びに来たよ付き合ってくれるよねよかった私の瞳は幸せな物語を語るねえ僕と遊んでよ甘い復讐僕に堪能させてよとても幸せだってうんそっか気持ち悪いねおにぎりの匂いがする地獄の炎<笑>の腕を切られても決して忘れぬ流れる水のように大切な人を守ることが僕の望みです僕は川に住んでいる水の子です恋の精査に見られたくないなはっ雪山へ戻りましょう行け氷雪よ凍った心は動かない And to finish this off, we just have to attack with Hanya and win the game. Sorry! 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 The reason I'm changing the deck is because that our buff has changed and we no longer have this and we no longer have those heals. In this video I forgot to show you what are our buffs but basically if our luck check is successful we gain one stack of key focus and one of our shigami will gain plus one health and attack. And if we have four stack of key focus we gain gale which makes all of our damage plus 3, while the opponent's buffs is that every time a shikigami inflicts damage, inflict 2 damage to it. It's a really annoying buff and pretty dangerous, which is why we're going to take advantage of it by bringing Momo. On their turn, they activate Inugami stat boost spell, then activate Kyonchi Ototo's combat card. Now, here's the good thing about Onikiri. When he activates his slash ability, it makes him immune to all damage, so he is especially useful here. On our turn, we attack and kill their Ototo, then activate Mitsume's quest so that he can gain stats and then we heal him using Momo's spell and pass. In this battle, you have to be careful of Chin's ability and Inugami's combat card. Chin will attack twice and both her and Mitsume will die. On our turn, we're just going to pass because losing our support Shigami will hurt quite a bit. On their turn, they activate Inugami combat card, then attack one more time and pass. On our turn, we're going to put Avenging Blade on Onikiri, then put Owl's Protection as well saving one orb for trigger and pass. The AI is smart and sacrifice their Kyuhime. After that, they activate another one of Inugami's combat card to kill Onikiri. On our turn, we activate Mitsume's quest to gain stats just enough to kill Inugami, then put our protection on Kaoru and pass. With this deck, you can take your time and finish Mitsume's quest, gradually making him stronger and stronger the more quests you complete. And once you got Onikiri to his level 3 form, you are pretty much set to win. Also, try to save Onikiri's flickering shadows until you have him in his level 3 form to make the battle go faster. Oh, 
復讐を果たすなら俺は倒れるわけにいかないみんな今日も元気いっぱいでいきましょう正義の刀弾などと笑わせるなこれが心の悲鳴だ正義を貫き悪を裁く私から逃れられはしない愛と毒の賛真剣だお前の罪俺が断ち切る On our turn, we activate Dual Broom style to kill Ototo, then goes direct with Ponkiri and Pass. We have two Splash ready to go and one Trigger card to finish them off. On their turn, they put a form on Kyuhime, then attacks with Inugami only to get killed by Onikiri slash ability, and at the end of their turn, Onikiri other slash ability will activate and kill them. And for the last battle of this chapter, I will show you another deck that you can use. This is my instant win Yamausagi deck. Basically, you stall out long enough until you can use her instant win card. But her SSR is crucial to make it faster. But you can definitely do this stage using my Onikiri deck. But it will take quite a bit longer. I have tested both and this Yamausagi deck is definitely faster in terms of time. Also, Kappa's SSR is not really needed and it's just there for flex. And you can replace it with other cards that you have. The opponent has a ridiculously high health and a really powerful buff to boot. At the end of their turn, at the end of each turn, they recover 2 health to all of their Shigami. And the other one is that every 5 turn, they will enter exhaust state. And that state is just all damage they receive will be doubled until the end of their turn. I will fast forward this replay because in this game, you just have to stall long enough to win using this deck. The Shigami you have to be careful with is Umibozu and Shuten. The rest of them isn't really dangerous and can be dealt with easily. あの世界は静かで美しいですね。思い通りにはさせません。え、本当に成功するなんて。ここまでなのか。さあ。嵐が来るぞ。そろそろ本気を出すか。手に持って。ここ役に立ったでしょ幸せは自分の手で掴むのよ海に行けるのに持って波を掴めておのみ込めえ海に行けるのに持って波を掴めておのみ込めえ旅の目に覚めろ死にたくない<笑> このせいさん、気持ちてないかな早く様子を見に行かなくちゃ今夜の運命の人は誰だろう風全て吹き裂く早やっちまった僕の書物の中には普通の銀だけを記録しようこの筆で異分飛び切れを書き続けて面白い音
守護の力を与えたまえ。たくさん飲んだがもう。読者は有益だ。ただいま。私、綺麗好きなの。喧嘩はダメよ。みんな、仲良くしよう。敵を引き裂け。風、すべてを引き裂け。わしの年を取ったのう。おにぎりの匂いがする。よく食わなきゃ戦う力が湧いてこねえ。そうそう、その通り。喧嘩はよくないよ。ないのよ。あれ来る嵐。その身を切り裂け。キリシン。おお、やりすぎちまった。僕は川に住んでいる水の子です。まったくもう。あ、よかった。And the moment Shuten gets a high enough attack, we draw our instant win card and activate. Well, that's all for today's video. I certainly hope you find it somewhat informative. As usual, if you have any kind of feedback, leave it down in the comments and see you next video. Bye!